Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Fight Journal, week three. It's actually my son's mother's 40th birthday this week, so she's out of town celebrating with her friends, and that means that I'm on full-time dad duty. Um, that means he's coming with me to work, he's coming with me to the studio, probably some comedy shows, and definitely gonna be coming with me to training a whole bunch this week. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We are on our way to meet up with Diego. James, you excited to train? I guess. <laughs> you guess? <laughs> No. I am pretty excited. Yeah? Pretty about, I'm excited about Diego and Six Flags. Oh, you're thinking about Six Flags? All the time right now. A major benefit of this whole process is being able to just show my son some of the things that I've learned. You know, setting a goal and, and hitting that goal, but even just spending time with him boxing, doing jiu-jitsu, just overall that experience of learning how to defend yourself. Um, yeah, so James has, James has trained jiu-jitsu um, for a little bit, maybe about a year now. Um, and then we've been boxing since he was like three years old. He's been... Or two. No, two Maybe actually. even two years old. He's been yeah. boxing. He's got a lot of experience yeah. boxing. You know, I didn't have that. I, you know, my dad died when I was a little kid. And I never had anybody in my life to show me how to throw a punch, how to defend myself. And um, the fact that I get to do this with my kid and I get to watch him grow and get better, it's so rewarding. I get to show my son that I, I did these fights and I, I set this goal that was seemingly impossible and I went for it. So when it was a draw, I think that valuable lesson um, is there. And I think that he's gonna remember these experiences with me for the rest of his life.